So, today, I had a double on Modern Warfare 2, and one of the games I want to talk about, it's not this gameplay in the background right now, it was a game on High Rise, you know the top of the building, the rooftop warfare, it was that map, and I was, it was team deathmatch, and I was sitting there, you know where you sort of spawn, and you start the match off, and it's quite dark, and it gives you that countdown, then as it gets closer to 3, 2, 1, it sort of brightens up, and brightens up, and brightens up, and then eventually you can see, and... As I looked, I was kind of in the position, if you imagine all my teammates were in front of me, I was at the right of them, facing them. And I just looked at them and I thought, one, two, three, four, five ghillie snipers. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We have not just lost this game, but I'm going to get absolutely no help whatsoever, because I knew what was coming next. Now, once upon a time, somebody a long time ago did a video for YouTube, and I remember it very clearly. You know, they did this video and did exactly what these guys were all thinking they were going to do. They charged towards that window. Every single last one of them, all five of them, stood there and sniped through the building or wherever it is you look towards the other building, towards the other window, and it's basically the first one to go down. And somebody posted this video and got like a multi-kill, got like a five or six in one, or if it was Graham War, I can't remember, got the whole team in one shot. Ever since that day, that's what everybody does. And the more time has gone on, the more people do it. And like I say, eventually it just came to today where everybody on my team had that same thought. And there was five of them, five of them all going for this one shot. And it was like, oh man unbelievable so yeah just wanted to sort of bring that to light but i'm going to talk about modern warfare 2 and you'll sort of get an idea why i brought that into the uh, into the equation now this gameplay in the background is sort of turning it back on the campers a little bit because these guys were sort of all playing the same way they all had the same ideas every single game go into a building throw a few claymores about and just window lick la, 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 la. lick that window clean baby there's a stain on it give it a good lick that's what they were doing and it just happened progressively over and over again and I was playing against the same people as I always do they never seemed to end up on my team and lick the windows there but we were losing every single game and eventually I kind of started to you know understand what their methods and their theory was behind their win and I sort of turned it back on them and I always say you know if you can't beat them then you have to join them I've said it a million times in commentaries and it's absolutely true so eventually it came to the point where I infiltrated their camping point and sort of did did exactly the same to them but anyway um, aside from that I just wanted to talk about something people always kind of tweet me stuff you know I get these random tweets can you check out this video and uh, you know it's courteous sometimes I'm not in the mood sometimes I'm busy and unavailable to do it but uh, you know nine times out of ten I'll go over and have a look at it and they, they always say this thing this is one thing I hate if you ever <laughs> tweet me a video where you want me to look at it please don't ask me to give feedback or give criticism I'm not qualified to do that you know I'm not that good a bloody YouTuber where I can give you criticism and say I think what you need to do here is this because I'm not a dick you know it's not fair of me because I could tweet somebody else say watch this video give me some feedback and I'm sure I would get critique on mine but uh, so I don't know where that just came from, but I just thought I'd get that out there. But yeah, sometimes people tweet me stuff and tweet me links to things. Check this link out. And I kind of learnt a long time ago about clicking onto links and it's sending you to random things that aren't very pleasant. But um, I got this one, in fact it's happened a few times over the course of the last couple of weeks where people have sent me this link and said, look, this is about Modern Warfare 2 being rebirthed for next-gen consoles. It's a petition. Now, the first time I looked at this petition, I'll put the link to it in the description if you want to go over and have a look at it and sort of hopefully click a like, thumbs up when I finish this commentary, then feel free. But uh, I went over there, and I think it was at about 1,500 likes. And the sort of description, I haven't got it in front of me now, but it's based along the lines of, look, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was a fan favourite, loved by many, but is now unplayable, but to so many, because of hackers, modders, whatever else, quick scopers, noob tubers, and things like that. Please, Activision, let's have a rebirth of it for next-gen console, where these, you know, few areas can be tweaked, and it can become the most playable Call of Duty again. 
Now, like I say, that was at about 1,500 likes, which, bearing in mind going back to my petition for Advanced Warfare, you know, there was a few people who saw that video and they did their own video about it. I think that got to just over 2,000 likes, maybe. I'm not sure because I haven't been back to it. But, um, yeah, you know, that, that wasn't too bad. I was quite happy with that. But this one was at 1,500 likes in a very short time. Now, ladies and jelly spoons, it is at about 100,000 likes. That is a large proportion of people who would like to see a rebirth of Modern Warfare 2, and it just goes to show how much of a loved game it was. Now, whether you hate it or whether you love it for whatever reasons, most people don't like Modern Warfare 2 because they don't like getting noob tubes, they don't like One Man Army Danger Close Commando, they don't like Marathon Lightweight Commando, they don't like the quick scopers and how many of them there is, because, you know, like I say, going back to that earlier conversation we just had, the quickscoping fraternity are very, very dominant in Modern Warfare 2, and that would be the reason why I don't play it as much. It's just not enjoyable for me, because I don't quickscope, I have no interest in it, and I find them very difficult to deal with. Even the ones who aren't that good at it are very difficult to deal with. Free for All is my favourite game type in Modern Warfare 2. I don't really play Free for All on any other sort of Call of Duty. Free for All was the place to go for me. It was my Friday night place. You know, if I had a few beers, if I had my headphones on, it was just nice. I could lose myself in the whole Free for All world. And I used to do pretty damn well. Now I find it more difficult to get gameplays. Hence the reason why I don't post as much Modern Warfare 2. Because it's just, it's inundated. It's inundated with gillies. If you're playing Free for All on Terminal, it's, it's, it's a washout. Forget about it. You'll have probably one good game out of about 50. Because these interventions are just whizzing past your head every two minutes and you're thinking, I don't know where these bullets are coming from and you're trying to look at your mini-map and figure out where the dots are and every time you look up, you've had it, you're gone. So, um, yeah, I've put on every sort of class to try and counter that map and it always ends up resorting to the UMP-45 to hopefully get the better of them, which I don't like to do, you know. The UMP-45 along with, you know, some other things would be one of the things that I would definitely tweak. So, you know, just randomly let's give you a list. One Man Army Danger Close Commando Pro. Now, I've talked about this a lot. I will talk about it again. That is the one thing that I would tweak. I don't know whether I would make the damage, the explosive damage reduced, because obviously Danger Close is there to make it big. But, like I've said with Black Ops, you know, the first Black Ops, one thing they did, and it was a very smart move by Trauk, and I will give Trauk props for doing the unthinkable to sort of change the game, is that once upon a time you had the AK-74U and you could put on extended mags and you could put on rapid fire and it was a dangerous combination. You know, a lot of people were running this class and you would just get fried. You know, you just wouldn't stand a chance. But a lot of people complain about the FAMAS. For me, that was the gun with a problem. It was awful. It was awful trying to rush against that gun. And when I used to put it on with those two, you know, sort of attachments, you could just, you could almost go flawless every single game. Dogs, chopper gunners for days. Eventually, Treyarch got some smart thinking behind it and said, no, that's, that's wrong. We need to change that. So they made it so that you could either have one or the other. You couldn't have both. So I think as far as One Man Army Danger Close Commando goes, you know, you can have Danger Close, but you can't have it with sort of One Man Army or maybe not with Scavenger. You know, you make a choice. The reduction in length with the Commando Lunge, that'd be another thing I'd tweak, you know? It's just, it's too easy. It's too easy for people to panic knife and just teleport towards you from a very, very long distance away. I don't mind being teleported a little bit, you know, they've had it in every Call of Duty without Commando. Uh, there's been some, I remember Black Ops, there was one really strange teleportation knife that I did and it was like, bloody hell, it's almost like I've got a hack going on here, but I hadn't. But with Commando, it's way too overpowered, so just a little reduction on that. A sniper only playlist my goodness me that would be the one thing that would be the straw that breaks the camel's back and the cherry on the top of the cake if they was to forget about all the other stuff I'm not worried about graphics or anything looking you know 180p perfect crystal clear grass looking like real grass I don't care if they made a sniper only playlist where they had their free-for-all team deathmatch ground war whatever kind of game mode they wanted to play but just made it so that if you played casual sort of gaming and casual sort of lobbies you didn't have to worry about snipers infiltrating you because they weren't allowed whoo I would be a happy little bunny that for me, and I think that for a lot of people, would be the USP. Because it's like I say, it's mainly because of the snipers and the one-man army danger close that I don't play it anymore. And that's why I don't do as many Modern Warfare 2 uploads. 
So these are just a couple of things that I would like to see improved and it would be lovely to see it appear on next gen. Like I say, graphically I don't care. I think that Modern Warfare 2 still looks a lot better than a lot of recent Call of Duties. It's just the playability. It's just the couple of little things in the game. Within the first sort of year, Modern Warfare 2 had a sort of even playing field. Then eventually over time people suss things out and go for the easy option. Wouldn't it be nice to treat it like an etch-a-sketch? You know, just pick it up, give it a shake and it's a clean slate. Let everybody start to again and figure different stuff out so i don't know what if they was to bring it back what would you like to see changed what would make you say do you know what i'm quite happy to go out and spend 60 pounds or however many dollars it costs to get this new version of modern warfare 2 and add it to my collection because i'll tell you something now i don't think i'd buy a call of duty again if they made it perfect as far as perfection goes it was so close but no cigar apocalypse done